Blush Speed Review. Hi, I'm Laura Ray. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite blushes. We're going to do this really quick. We're going to talk about if they're mature friendly, the cost of the blush, the longevity, and I'll share with you some swatches of the shade so you can see if it's something that you're interested in. Let's start off today with my priciest blush. It's the Dior Rosy Glow. This is their brand new shade, Rosewood. I love how light this feels. It doesn't feel like a powder at all. It adjusts to your own skin tone, and I'm just in love with it. Now, trust me, I'm looking for a dupe, but it is just so worth it to me because I think it will last a very long time. I seem to apply so little of it, it's definitely mature friendly. I can't even see it on my skin. It almost acts like a cream would. So of all the blushes I have, I think this is one of the most beautiful. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Blush in a shade I bought recently, Berry. I've purchased this before. I think I have the shade Peony. So beautiful. These run anywhere from $12 to $15, depending where you're buying it. This has Camila oil in it, so it really blends beautifully on the skin. This blush line is actually geared towards mature women. So it lays beautifully on the skin, doesn't give a powdery, cakey look, and is absolutely a stunner. I heard so much about this bronzer from Bare Minerals that I had to try it. It runs $26. It's sort of a combination of blush and bronzer all in one. I bought such a beautiful shade. It's called Kiss of Pink, and I do love this. Even though it's a pricier product, I think of it as a bronzer and blush in one. When I wear this, I don't wear bronzer. It just really warms up the skin, but they're all supposed to flatter any skin tone. I can't testify to that because I haven't tried it on multiple skin tones. I've only tried it on my own. I definitely think this is great for mature skin because it's another one of those buildable products that doesn't come off super powdery or doesn't lay on the skin and make it so obvious that you're wearing blush. This blush has light reflecting pearls and I can really see that when I wear it. It has some glimmer to it, but not too much and definitely no glitter. I'm not a fan of glitter on my cheeks. So I love that this is just very luminous looking and gives the face a very youthful look. This is NYX Sweet Cheeks in the shade Baby Doll. This is a fantastic, affordable blush. It has a doe foot applicator, so easy to apply. You can just tap it right on your cheeks, blend it out with your fingers with a brush. I like to take a brush like this BK Beauty 106 and just sort of go like this with it just to get it more blended. It will last. This is super long lasting, great for mature skin. This comes in six shades. It's weightless, very buildable, and perfect for mature skin. This is the Flower Blush Balm in the shade Pinched. It's a very thin formula. I love how you can blend it out easily. For me, super long lasting. It's very affordable. It comes in at around $11.50. It, they have a shade range of eight, and it's definitely mature friendly. I've used this for more than a couple of years. Whenever it came out is when I bought it and started using it, and I really love it because it's not detectable on the skin. I don't like when someone can see the blush laying on the skin. This just blends right in with the skin and looks very natural. This is the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Blush. Such a unique product. It really is like water. It's incredible. It's the thinnest product that I own for my skin. You can see how that is. It's incredible. It just goes right into the skin. You can use it. He really recommends under powder. I'm going to put it on top of my powder. Now this is the shade Angel and it just gives such a nice luminous glow to the skin. 
You can use it on the lips and eyes too. So this is a multitasker, one drop will do you pretty much. So this is a product I've loved for a long time. The prices vary. It's around $24.95, maybe a little bit more on Amazon for certain shades that have been discontinued from the line. But I always go back to this if I just want a very healthy, natural look. At $12.99, I have the Neutrogena Hydrating Multi-Stick. This can be used on the cheeks, lips, eyes. It comes in one shade. It has a hyaluronic acid in it. I love that because it makes it very dewy, very spreadable. This would be great to pop in your purse. If you were out and you saw that your skin looked a little dull, you could add a little of this on the cheeks, the eyes, the lips. It just is fantastic. A lot of these kinds of products that first came out, like the Boomstick, run about $28. So this one is super affordable and very mature friendly. This is the Laura Geller Bake Blush in Brighton. Many of you, when I did the Laura Geller video, told me this is your favorite blush. This particular shade is Apricot Berry. These are long lasting. They're geared for mature skin. All of Laura Geller's makeup really is geared towards skin over the age of 40. I feel like this looks beautiful on my skin. I've used it a lot. It looks like I haven't. These last a super long time. I find that this would be good for any skin type, whether you have dry skin, normal, oily. I think this would just work for any type of skin. And like I said, it's geared for mature skin, and I think it's an amazing blush. This blush comes in 12 shades, and it actually has self-adjusting pigments in it. So I think it looks great on the skin. I love it on my skin. I've used it for a while, and I think it's definitely one that anyone would enjoy getting. Let me know in the comments your favorite blush that you are enjoying wearing. If you'd like to see more speed reviews like this, please leave a thumbs up. Leave me a little note in the comments. I read all of your comments and I try to get back to as many as I can. All of the links for the blushes I spoke about today are in the description of the video. Thank you so much for shopping those links and supporting my channel so I can continue on here on YouTube. I love you all so much. I hope you have a blessed week and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.